Well, hello Indonesia. Thank you very much for this nice occasion. I'm Stefanus Erena Putra. I am mahasiswa prestasi of Universitas 11 Maret. In this nice occasion, I want to try to explain about my proposal about the potential of potikan kebo or euphorbia hirta as the asthma therapy based on dry powder inhaler method. Ladies and gentlemen, in this recent 10 years, asthma become one of the kind of chronic respiratory distress or disease that can cause the increase of mortality rate in our country, Indonesia. Actually, asthma is kind of long-term use of disease that can be recovered by maintaining the therapy of asthma. There are two kinds of asthma therapy. First one is the reliever therapy and the second one is control therapy. Ladies and gentlemen, like I have explained before, actually asthma therapy in our country is less affordable. So it can be used as one of the reasons why the incidence of asthma increased significantly in these recent 10 years. Ladies and gentlemen, the long-term therapy that is commonly used in our country is corticosteroid. Corticosteroid has a lot of side effects that actually not safe for long-term use of asthma therapy. For example, we must try to find a kind of osteoporosis, glaucoma, and etc. That is not safe actually for the use of long-term corticosteroid. But how to solve this problem? Indonesia is blessed because of there are a lot of herbal medical plants that can be used for therapy. One of them included in this case is patikan kebo. Patikan kebo, because uh, based on the previous experiments, contains four active components like quercitrin, sterol, tannin, and flavonoid that is proven can be reduced the incident of asthma because these four active components can inhibit the mediator of asthma as interleukin-5, one of the most important mediator in asthma pathogenesis. Ladies and gentlemen, actually there are three kinds of prototype of asthma therapy that is commonly used in our country, Indonesia. Firstly is nebulizer. I think it's not practical use. Why? Because we must go to hospital to get this kind of therapy and the equipment is too big. It's not portable to bring everywhere. Second one is about the metal dose inhaler and the third one is dry powder inhaler. The most effective therapy until now based on the previous studies is dry powder inhaler. Why inhaler? Because asthma actually is kind of respiratory disease. And inhaler means we try to use a kind of medical therapy that is directly active component of this therapy go to our respiratory tract. So it can be more effective than if we drink the patikan kebo or a kind of this kind of oral therapy. And if we try to kind of elaborate this into nanoparticle and we just drink it into dry powder inhaler, it can be used for alternative therapy for asthma for long-term use that has minimal side effects and also lower cost productivity. And if we try to this to, to give a kind of this, the cost of asthma therapy will be reduced soon. And also it can be reduced the incidence of asthma in our country. And believe me, that actually it can increase the productivity of our country. Well, ladies and gentlemen, actually in the prospect of dry powder inhaler therapy by using patikan kebo is easily to be elaborated more and its potential. Why? Because actually our country is rich of herbal plant like I have said before. And because of that, actually we have tried to make a kind of extract of patikan kebo into nanoparticle. Just make it in your laboratory. Our technology until now in our country in Indonesia has been proved that actually we can make patikan kebo into nanoparticle and then dilute a kind of this nanoparticle into lactose dilution and we just package it into dry powder inhaler and we can produce it commonly into our public. And why we can produce it? Because actually there are no other country produce kind of, kind of dry powder inhaler by using patikan kebo extract. In Australia, have been proposed like a dry powder inhaler but they use trocola sinensis extract. And about Indonesia now, and if we try to make the kind of this dry powder inhaler therapy as the innovative alternative therapy of asthma therapy, it means that actually we can increase the pride of our country in front of the nation of the world because it proved that actually our country Indonesia has also the innovation of technology in medical therapy, especially in elaborating about the alternative therapy of asthma therapy. So actually it can increase the pride of our country and also it can prove to the world that actually Indonesia can be made about the 
technology of medical therapy about asthma. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope this idea can be proved and gone smoothly in the future. Thank you.